You're listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. Inspiration for you as you walk by abounding faith, hope, and love and live your God-given dreams. Welcome to the first episode of Season 4 of the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. I'm your host, Nancy Gavilanes. Thanks so much for joining me today. In honor of the fifth anniversary of my first book, Waiting on God Well, I'm going to be sharing some excerpts from that book that has encouraged pastors, pastors' wives, missionaries, chaplains, ministry leaders, and also those just starting out on their faith journey. So much has changed in my life since Waiting on God Well was released in 2015. And yet, of course, I find myself still waiting on God for some things. And that's the thing about life. We're always going to be waiting on God for something. It's not about if we're going to be waiting, but how we're going to be waiting. What are you waiting on God for? Maybe you're waiting to get that dream job or to meet your spouse or to travel to your dream vacation or for healing or for salvation of a loved one. See, we're all waiting on God for something. And so my hope is that I can encourage you to not give up in the middle of your story, to keep going, to keep waiting on God, and to keep seeking Him in prayer. Today, I'd like to share a little bit from the foreword of Waiting on God Well, so let's go ahead and dive in. Waiting is not passive. It's not for the weak, but for the strong. It takes strength and courage to wait for God to give you the green light. It's not about having a blasé attitude. Instead, it's about expecting God to come through in his perfect timing and open doors that no man can shut. It's taking God at his word and believing that he will do exactly what he has promised to do. My prayer is that you won't despise the process you are going through, but that you will look for Jesus even in the tight places because he is right there with you. He is leading, guiding, and loving you. He has not forsaken you. He will bring you through. And when you come out of whatever valley or barren place you are in, you will be stronger, wiser, and more secure in your relationship with Jesus. A blessing beyond measure. You will be able to look back and thank God for loving you enough to not take you the easy route, but the way that stretched you and tested you, brought healing to you, and helped you to grow and allowed you to see the miraculous hand of God in your life. I pray that you will come out a living, breathing testimony to the faithfulness of our God. Remember that God really does work everything together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose, Romans 8.28. That means everything may not be good right now, but just watch how God will use your experiences to make something beautiful. What the enemy means for evil, God can turn for good, Genesis 50.20. In the end, Drawing closer to Jesus is the best gift we could ever receive. It's better than whatever it is we are waiting for. I hope that encouraged you. I know waiting can be tough, especially in this microwave society that we live in. Waiting isn't popular. We want everything instantly. We want everything now. We want everything right away. And yet God doesn't work that way. And remember, his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And he has a good plan and he's working. And so I want to encourage you to believe and to trust that he is working things out behind the scenes. And at his appointed time, at the right time, he will come through for you. I'm preaching to myself as well. But remember that God is on the throne and he is in control and nothing surprises him. And so he knows how your story ends. He knows the end from the beginning. He's the Alpha and the Omega. I love how God knows all things at all times. And so be encouraged that he has not forgotten you. He has not forsaken you. In the upcoming episodes, we're going to be talking about what to do while you're waiting. How can you wait well? Because it's during these wilderness seasons that we can have a complete meltdown and become bitter, angry, or depressed, perhaps even stop dreaming and turn our back on God, or we can press in. I want to encourage you to press in, to lean on, and to trust in God. He is faithful, and he will bring you through, and he's going to give you a new song. He's going to give you a testimony that you can share with others, and he's going to strengthen you. So again, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to be talking about what God is doing while we're waiting and what we can be doing. Remember that waiting doesn't mean just sitting in a corner and not doing anything. There's a lot of constructive things that we can be doing while we're waiting. And I look forward to sharing more on that in the next episodes. Until then, I really do want to pray for you. So allow me to pray for you. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you are sovereign. You're almighty. You're all powerful. You're in control. You see us. You hear us. You are with us. You go before us. You live inside of us. 
I thank you, Father, that you're working out your plan in our lives. You're working in us and through us, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you are there even in those tight places, in those wilderness and barren seasons, Father. I thank you that you walk with us, Lord. You talk to us, Lord. You show us the way and you hold us in your arms, Father. I thank you that we are in the palm of your hands, Lord. I thank you that our name is engraved in the palm of your hands. And I thank you, Father, that you are the glory and the lifter of our heads, Lord. I thank you that you give us the victory. We already have it in the name of Jesus and we are walking it out. I thank you that we can trust you during any wilderness season, any time of waiting, Father. I thank you that you are drawing us closer to you, Father. And and so I thank you that you have already promised us the victory, and so we can already be thanking you and rejoicing in advance. We ask this all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God is closer than you think. He is right there with you. He has not left your side, and he is not going to let you go. He will see you through, and I look forward to hearing about your breakthrough. For more encouragement during your waiting season, I invite you to pick up a copy of Waiting on God Well, How to Prevent Breaking Down on Your Way to Your Breakthrough. It's available on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. I look forward to encouraging you next time. God bless. You've been listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. For more encouragement on your faith journey, visit aboundingfaith.com and follow Abounding Faith on social media.